Hello and welcome to Paradise. It's your nice Paradise and I am here with another video. So today's topic it's all about why Malta. Why would you choose to come to Malta to study? Why would you choose to come to Malta to work? And why would you choose to move to Malta? So, um, before I moved to Malta, I did my researches. I did some things to know what this country is all about. I'm here today to bring to you the positive side benefits of living in Malta and the negative side of living in Malta because what I've, I deem negative, might, you might not mind. Some of you might not mind some some things. Me, I've, I, I see I'm still living in Malta. I've been in Malta for like 11 years right now. And I don't have any plans of living in Malta soon. Or I don't even have a plan of living in Malta right now. So I'm enjoying my stay in Malta. And I love it here. I love it here in Malta. So despite the pros and cons... Of living in Malta so if you are that that person that is that is planning future or near future or fear or far future to come um to, to live in Malta I'm bringing you this video today watch this video before you come to Malta <music> Where is Malta? Malta is in Europe. It's among the European Union and it's also among the Schengen area. All right. And it, it, Malta is an island. It's a very, let's just picture Malta as a rock in the middle of the sea. All right. So this is what Malta is like a rock. It is just very tiny in the middle of the sea. And it's an island. It's surrounded by water. Okay, so um, let's dive into the positive side uh, benefit of living in Malta. Number one thing is the process of obtaining the visa and or stroke work permit is very easy compared to most of the European countries. In Malta, you just have only the ID card. You don't have to have, for example, in Italy, you're gonna, you have to have permission to sojourn. You have to have a catalytic identity. You have to have codice physicali. You have to have a lot of documents. For me, it makes no sense really. So, but in Malta, you just have your ID card, and this ID card is also it's all in com combined with your work permit. You don't have to have work permit different and ID card different. No, so all together, the work your work permit is linked with your ID card. All right. So, and the process is very easy. Uh, the ID card, the, your work permit, your employer needs to to register to do it to apply for you. Right, what you need to do is just to go and collect it, so it's very easy and it's straightforward, it's there is it's, it's not complicated. All right, so number two, um, benefit or um, positive thing uh, of living in Malta is you have being a, a European Union and also within the Schengen area, you have free movement freedom of movement you can move when you have the motor id card you can move to other european countries you have minimum of three months to reside in other european countries you can go visit go tour do whatever you want to do like move around you're not bound to just staying in Malta. or when you want to go to other european union um country you you don't need a visa you just move around that's another benefit of go coming to and living and getting your permit in Malta. Another um, benefit is um, foreign workers are all welcome. Like in Malta, the, the Maltese government have even agencies abroad that helps them to bring, for example, nurses. They have agencies in um, in India and Pakistan that helps them to bring in um, foreign nurses or Indian nurses. So they are they, they have schemes of bringing in uh, foreign workers because they are 
out in search of foreign workers so if you're foreign and if you want to to, to come to Malta I want you to have your mind at rest that you're welcome they welcome you they're looking for you so why not why not Malta the fourth reason or benefit of coming to Malta is cheaper cost of living compared to other EUs yes Malta in, in com uh, comparing other EUs is very cheap in uh, cost of living all right most of the things here you can you can have your way you know and live comfortable and it's cheaper compared to other eu countries um the fifth reason for coming to Malta or moving to Malta is it uh, you would have a free healthcare system listen if you're working in Malta whatever you're having even is an operation is lifetime um treatment is health care whatever you are you health in in line whatever you have in line with health care you have it free all right what you have to do is just to provide your pay slip and you will be treated for free whatever you need you have it here so far as you're working so far as you can provide the proof that you are paying an eye all right or social security that is which is your pay slip when you bring your pay slip you will be treated free of charge in Malta hospital anywhere in Malta so you have free healthcare system in Malta and also number um, six uh, positive thing or reason of living in Malta is you have also the benefit of having a permanent resident permit in Malta this permanent resident permit is also in, in through employment scheme all right if you're working in Malta you are eligible to go for a, a course all right integration course um uh, all about learning the Maltese language and knowing about the culture of Malta then if you pass the exam automatically you have five years permanent resident so why not you come you study them you go to the um, uh, integration course you know about the culture and the language of um of the Maltese people and then they would give you the five years permanent resident and through this five years permanent resident you are also eligible for the citizenship all right so why not why not this is another benefit which most of the foreigners working here they don't even know about it that there is the scheme of studying about Malta and getting Maltese um, permanent resident or also eventually um, their passport. Another benefit is uh, Maltese people are open-minded and they are very friendly, most of them. All right, yes, if you go to other countries, you also have people that are negative that they are very their minds are very very close they don't accept foreigners don't accept even Africans but no Maltese people most of them most of the people that I have come in contact with even at work anyway even the patients most of the patient even wants the foreigners to treat them really because they feel at peace they feel comfortable and they, 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 they feel that the, the foreign people the foreign nurses like they are more compassionate like this is this is my this is this is my experience my 11 years experience here in Malta and my experience also working as a nurse in Malta like you, they welcome you the patients they don't discriminate um against you but then um, you have also some 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 instances where their only problem is if you don't speak or if you don't understand Maltese which they made this I also made a video about this that the government when they employ you you have to pass at least medical Maltese when you have to interact with mostly the elderly or the people that wouldn't understand English but mostly more all of them most of them understand English to communicate to you in English or even if they don't speak they, or they will understand so but if then eventually you can speak Maltese oh my god they will not even see you as a foreigner so they have open-minded they are the the Malta um, as a country is diverse okay like so many people so many even Asians Nigerians like Africans 
Europeans, other parts of um, European country citizens are also here in Malta. They accept everybody. So you have your mind at rest that you'll be accepted. And obviously, you have to also abide with the country's rules and regulations for them to fully accept you. Because if you come into their country, you have to know the culture and you have to accept them and you have to abide with their rules and regulation and then why not you would be accepted also the, the next um, positive thing i wrote about is affordable public transport yes oh my god Malta, i think is the cheapest in public transport here in Malta, we have only um buses all right and these buses cost if you're a resident and if you have the bus card um, you would you would you have to pay only 75 cents all right for two hours ride 75 cents 75 cents you heard me right if you're living in mortar and you're resident in mortar all you need to pay for two hours is 75 cents for two hours and if you don't live in mortar or you don't have the card you're just visiting then you have to pay two euros for um two hours so but if you're planning to leave or you you've come and you've gotten your your id card you've settled you have to make the, the card and you have only 75 cents per two hours okay how cheap can that be how cheap can that be so another reason that you need to move to Malta is for nurses you have more opportunities to be accepted in nhs Yes, I said this also in my previous video. Video: If you have a minimum of two years working in Malta and you are um, working with the government, you have the Maltese license from the Council for Nurses and Midwives, the NHS will uh, is looking for you. Like they want to employ you without even eyelids or AET. They, they have some exemptions for nurses, foreign nurses, even Maltese nurses that have um worked in Malta for two years so they are looking for you and you have other opportunities to migrate to ireland and also uk so why not if you want to just come to Malta, being the easiest part of the european union and schengen and you just want to make it as your foundation not like as you're stepping you know just where you can land view have your experience in eu and then move to the country of your dreams this is the perfect place for you. Malta is the perfect place. You and you have your experience working here. The NHS or Ireland, they will like, they would take you, accept you with open hands because this is right now, they are in search for nurses that have experience in Malta. All right. So um, the next um, positive thing I wrote about is you are also allowed to bring your immediate family like in Malta you are allowed if you're a nurse in Malta or if you're working in Malta with a minimum of I think 19,000 or 20,000 per annum you can you are eligible to to bring in your family members your immediate family your children your husband you know you can bring them to Malta and when they come to Malta they would have the whole privilege they that you have as a nurse or as um someone working in Malta, they will have free health care they will have also the same documents the same year that you have they will be also given to them so you are not going to be separated from your immediate family you can bring them along also they would give you the visa and the opportunity to bring in your immediate family members yes so and another thing, the last but not the least, is an amazing weather. Oh my God. Mortar is blessed. Mortar is blessed. What they use for their income mostly is tourism. And because of what? Because of an amazing weather and the sea. Like, it's always hot in Mortar. We have just few months of winter period of cold all right and but the rest is just hot enjoying and like living your life like 
the life here is also slow that's another reason for coming to motor you're not into that rushing life like when i was in italy you're always on the rush you're always stressed no more these people take things easy they have they, they are very slow like they take life very slow they are not always in a rush you understand they live a very calm and relaxed life so if you want if you think that 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 is part of you or that life you can live why not Malta is the perfect place for you. All right. So let's go to the few negative parts and that I found and throughout my experience in Malta of 11 years um, that I have come to realize and it's a little bit there, you know, negative side of living in Malta. Um, number one is the expensive rent. Yes. Throughout the years, Morty's renting system has evolved. Like, I say, 10 to 11 years ago, you could rent a two-bedroom, a standard two-bedroom apartment for 300 euros. But right now, you're looking about 1,800, okay? So, and it's getting very expensive because you everyone is building you know construction is the main thing in Malta so there are so many houses there is no competition you understand so in a country where there is no competition uh, they will just keep putting prices every 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 now and then so the rent here is coming very very expensive another thing is traffic jam a lot of traffic jam a lot of um like it's very slow even in the morning you have to go out early you have to leave your house early because of the traffic you don't want to meet the traffic in the morning while going to work there is also a lot of traffic jam here because the country is very small and there are a lot of cars a lot of cars but every family like you say family of five they have five cars so everybody wants to leave everybody wants to go and at the same time so you will meet traffic in mortar Another thing is low salary offer. Yes, the minimum wage here is very low. You have minimum wage. Motor is like 750, 800 euros per month. And then having such a, a small minimum wage to a very high expensive rent, it makes no it makes no sense you understand the minimum wage is very low it's 800 so if you're coming to motor and you have to consider also this in the rent you can up to sharing an apartment of maybe two bedroom you can rent your own room and it, it might be cheaper it will be cheaper for you in that way instead of paying 800 or um six or 700 you can up to paying two or 300 so in this way you can be able to manage your your salary which is very 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 minimum compared to other eu countries another thing is renewal of your permit renewal of permit i said also in my last video it can take up to two three months and the the money is expensive all right and you have only one year but nurses right now we have three years but i'm talking about other non um healthcare workers you have only one one year and then you have to renew it every year but nurses and other healthcare workers have th minimum of three years um that the government has like upgraded for us so this is it for me today and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up like comment and if you've not yet subscribed what are you waiting for is your favorite right nurse paradise please comment and follow me on my other social media account i would link them down in the in the description um column please subscribe like comment share my videos thank you all i really appreciate you ciao bye